does she run off to? Hmm. Managed to amass quite a book collection. A pentagram in chalk. Don't often see bubbles like this in Velen. Powerful aura. Must be some artifact or... So this is where she disappeared to. Echando a la gente. Mr. Spot. Where? Hope you didn't come to court. No, to talk. Turn around and wait. Velen. Thought you hated the countryside. I can assure you I do. Now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. Never would have guessed it was King Foltest's former advisor. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. I actually envy you that sense of wonder. Common in children, knights errant, and morons. Mm, someone's grown irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I believe I greeted you with a pleasant view. Now tell me what brings you here. Any news of your sisters from the lodge? None. We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer. Or who might be listening. So, bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Mm -hmm. Admiring the unspoilt scenery? Or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No. I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world? Don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime, pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic about them. Witch hunters. Sound familiar? Murderers scouring the north from end to end, burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists. Picked a strange place to hide. I didn't pick anything. In the north, Radovid's men hunt sorceresses like fish in a barrel. Nilfgaard controls the south. Where was I to flee? Emperor does keep mages on a short leash, but he lets them live and ply their trade. Radovid and Emma differ in every respect except one. They share a deep hatred of the Lodge of Sorceresses. And I was a member. 
So how's it feel to be the village witch? Hmm. Horrid. No joy in having the boundless respect and trust of the local peasantry? <laughs> They'd respect anyone who could produce hemorrhoid cream. Been here a while, haven't you? Long enough for rot to set in. You cannot possibly imagine how much I detest this place. Changing the subject. I'm looking for a certain young woman. Oh, really? Who? I'm looking for Siri. That Siri. And no one can know, understand? Cyrilla is here. The girl once sought by the Lodge of Sorceresses and practically every ruler on the continent has landed here in Velen and I know nothing of it. What is she doing here? Indications are she's hiding from someone. I heard she quarreled with a witch, but if you don't know anything, sure you haven't seen her? I'm certain I haven't. But recently someone asked me about an ashen-haired woman. He claimed she would stand out from the peasant crowd. He say anything else about her? <laughs> Not so fast, Geralt. No humble plea. No offering for the witch. <laughs> My undying gratitude. Good enough. It's nothing to sneeze at, but you've a knack for getting into trouble. I should probably ask for something more immediately deliverable. Oh, sod it, don't give me that look. I know it's Siri we're talking about. <clears throat> it was an elf, this individual who asked about Cyrilla. No flea-bitten scoyotel slob either, but an elven mage. He say what his name was? He didn't. And he wore a mask. Very secretive all around, but I liked him. He was intelligent and composed. He say what he wanted with Siri? Only that they were to meet in Velen. He wished to know if she'd arrived before he did. Mm. What was an elven mage <clears throat> doing in Velen? Well, I tried to ask him, of course, about everything. Of course. Oh, huh. but you know how elves are. He asked many more questions than he answered. Do you leave any message for her? No, but he asked that were I to meet her, I should lead her to him. So you know where to find him? Yes, he said he found a hideout in some elven ruins near the village of Midcops. I'll go there with you. Why? Think I'll have trouble finding this place? <clears throat> I've unfinished business with this elf. He promised me something, but he never delivered it. Besides, I know you think I I do. she might be there. And I'd like to see Cyrilla too. Can't go just yet. In that case, we'll meet there. I'll await you near the cave entrance. Well, I bet you bring him again, Julia.
droga del agujo. Todo lo que falta. Vamos a la casa del varón primero y a revisar más misiones porque no quiero irme con la un poco de nivel para allá. Un brujo. Baron Home. Depends who's asking. A Witcher. Wanna talk to him. And I want to plow the lovely Queen Cero. Seen this man before. In at the crossroads. You was there not so long ago. Thought you were supposed to go your separate way. Nice and all. It led me here. Gotta to talk to the Baron. Oh, I. What about? Something important. His ears only. Fine. Lodrin, let him in. If he makes any trouble, okay. well, we had numbered him. Open the gate. Sergeants, Ardle, Witcher, to see the Baron. Don't want no disturbances. That clear? What do you think? Called you a sergeant, you a Temerian soldier. Not your concern, mate. Deserter. Temerian army don't exist no more. So what are you all doing here? Had a choice after the Black Ones thrashed us. Let it lie and try to lead normal lives. We'll continue to resist, join the guerrillas, and fight for our beloved Temeria till death do us part. We chose the former. And the Baron, your commander? Hmm. Yeah. Commander. Infizima, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. Oh, how we danced, how we twirled. <laughs> oh! One, two, three, one, two, three. Hey! <laughs> Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Oh, the Witcher! Oh. Look at that! Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality, especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm... I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. <sighs> Make yourself at home. It would have put the bloody vodka. Ah! 
There it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltest dead and Natalis' whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell! Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. <laughs> to the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. I think it's all about the Butcher of Lavican. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? I don't. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, it becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. <clears throat> Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. That was close. I must leave this place. Entonces, no puedo acceder al inventario. You can come down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean? You know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. Why don't you tell me where you live? 
In Linden Vale. They'd see to your wounds there. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told mm -hmm. me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it. And I lost my way. Your father, why did he have you follow the trail of treats? Do you know? Because we had nap to break our fast with. I don't understand. I was naughty. Broke a jug. Spilled all our milk. Your parents must have been angry. My mother said I should be spanked. But father said wouldn't do no good. Too many mouths to feed anyway. Sending me down the trail of treats. That would solve things. Venga, abandonaron. Your father. Why? I don't. It was not. Mother said. Send me the. You and your father. When did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come. I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, mm. disgustably horrific. Mm. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But... No buts. Stay here. I must see something. <sighs> something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Stay there, and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? Ah, 
Its chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Whoa. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Mm. Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Oh. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. <laughs> when did children get so smart? What we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver, but I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No, a far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's vein, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. Boo! <laughs> 